For the last week, I've been collecting computer parts for a custom gaming PC build. So all the parts have arrived, let's get them out of the boxes. NVMe is like its own little, so it runs through the CPU yeah. rather than SATA running through its own little controller. Gonna do a push setup so fans are gonna actually exhaust outside of the case. Alright guys, so we've unboxed everything, we've moved over to the living room and I've got my friend Josh with me today. Yeah. We're gonna be putting it together well. Josh will be putting it together <laughs> and I'll be providing moral support. <laughs> so if you guys have never put your own build together, you've got like a bunch of main components that you pretty much need to any build. If you're playing games, graphics card number one, then probably your processor second. If you're new to PCs, you probably don't need the latest and greatest motherboard. That's a good way to burn your budget if you're on a budget. Yeah. Fourth is getting yourself a good power supply. So a good quality power supply ensures that nothing will blow up because that's probably the worst thing that can happen <laughs> if you're buying a PC. You don't have to put too much, but the thing is, it's okay to put too much. It's really bad to put too little. It's really, really good. <laughs> <horrible. laughs> like, that's why I thought I was just like. Oh. Alright, guys, so we are getting towards the end of the build. Josh is putting um, the power supply together. And we've got this big boy, which is the integral part of the unit, the most expensive part in the build. GeForce RTX 370, 3070. I love my RTX 370. <laughs> I'm just gonna do a line of step tips and just drop it on the floor. <laughs> oh man, that is a nice, that's a nice back plate on it as well. Oh, is it gonna work? Oh, whoops. Oh, oh that's <laughs> turning on, boy. Turn on the power switch. So we're getting towards the end of the build and it's looking real nice stealth black and then we got this guy who's just ruining it. Get out of here, mate. We've finished the build, turned it on, it's working. Uh, it was pretty anticlimactic, but the lights are flashing on. We're just gonna boot up and put some windows onto it and then the build's finished. Alright guys, well this is the final build in all its glory. It's a huge looking thing, but I love the design of it. I think the sort of solid black with a little bit of colour looks really nice. It took Josh and I around two and a half hours to put it all together. And then once Josh headed off, I sort of transferred all my files from my old computer, um, installed all the drivers and the programs, and for some reason that took ages. So I ended up fiddling around with that for like three hours. But you're probably wondering um, how much this thing cost and it was about two and a half thousand dollars. And I know that's a lot of money, um, but I'm looking at it as an investment. One of the big things that really slows me down in terms of creating videos is the video editing process. And my old computer was just not handling um, all the files and it was really slowing down. So hopefully this speeds up my workflow and it will just be a good machine in case I wanna do say streaming or anything in the future, I think this will just future-proof me in terms of anything tech. And if you guys are interested in seeing what parts I used or you're thinking about building your own PC, I'll link all of the parts in the description below. But right now it is late in the afternoon, it's actually almost dinner time. So I'm gonna head off and I'm meeting my friend Declan for dinner. We are, I oh, know. Yeah, you are, yeah. Oh, yeah. But what does this mean? Yeah, what does this mean, Declan? Good, Saturday night, it's nice to relax. All right guys, so we just finished having some dessert. Went to Max Brenner, uh, Declan got a waffle. <laughs> I got a, um, like a cookie shake. 
but it's been pretty good. We've just been talking through some of the stuff that we're learning. So Declan's actually on a different stream to me. So he does different rotations and our cohort's divided into four different streams. So we all have different rotations. I'm on my general practice um, term right now and I finished internal medicine last block and Declan's actually doing internal medicine now. So he's started general medicine and how are you finding it? Yeah, it's good. Um, I think getting to know and like a new team and like general medicine so general so many different conditions that the patients can come in with so having to like read up really widely having to read up on all my pharmacology and all the drugs that we need to use uh one thing that's been different is i rostered on for a few like saturdays and sundays so actually today is a saturday went in this morning and rounded with the team it's just a reminder that if you're thinking about doing medicine like it will um, involve missing a few of your own weekends um, and having to to work um, for the benefit of other people so a good reminder for me even as a med student. Declan's gonna drop me back to the nearest station we're gonna play some tunes and I will see you guys at home. Woo! Hey dude. See ya. <laughs> hey, so I'm back at home and for the last 30 minutes or so I've been testing out this guy and it's lightning fast, like super, super quick. I'm pretty keen to do some video editing on it tomorrow. Um, and special shout out to my friend Josh for helping me put together the build. If he wasn't here, I don't think I would've been able to put it together. And if I was, I would've probably still been here trying to put in pins, connect cables, and getting the thing to start. Um, but if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you wanna see more content like this. And as always, until next time, this is Sebastian, stay sharp. Bro. The man, the myth, the we legend. We get to do our sick edit. Ten cores, twenty threads. <laughs> Mate, why are you making fan noise? You're not doing anything. It doesn't love me. It, it, just, it just doesn't love me.